I've been making over 600 gold in about 75 minutes of daily questing. With my optimized route, you can zoom through your 25 dailies in no time at all. There's even a daily that gives 200 gold per day in only a few minutes, so don't miss out. I've written a step-by-step -step doc with all the quests and huge time-saving tips. Check it out in the description below. I like to start with the fishing daily from Marcia Chase and Dalaran. This quest can take 2 to 15 minutes depending on where you get sent. But you could get a 500 gold waterlogged recipe or even an 8,000 gold five ring. Next up, hearth back to Dalaran because it's time for the cooking daily. The cooking daily gives tokens for northern spices per turn in. I've been making 200 gold on average on my server. Pro tip, I have each of the cooking ingredients pre-saved on my alts so the daily only takes about a minute. Now it's time to head to Storm Peaks to do the quest Overstock. I like to fly to the middle of Garm's Bane, then make a line back towards the quest giver. Next, head to Dun Nephilim for our daily Hodir quest, which will take about 30 minutes. Pick up Hot and Cold, Hodir's Call, A Viscous Cleaning, How to Slay Your Dragon, Spy Hunter, and Feeding Arngrim. You'll need to do Sons of Hodir prequest first, and How to Slay Your Dragon and Spy Hunter require Honored Reputation, while Feeding Arngrim requires Revered. Once you've got the quest, head southeast to do hot and cold at Fjorn's Anvil. Then head north and do Hodir's Call. As with most daily quests, grouping up will speed up things big time. Next, fly west and we can do Spy Hunter and Feeding Arngrim at the same time. Then head into the Hibernal Cavern and AoE down those oozes for viscous oil. Now it's time to throw our spear at a wild worm and fight to the death. Check the document if you need help taking down the worm. Finally, it's time to turn in our six quests and hearth back to Dalaran. We're going to our faction's gunship, so I like to talk to the Sky Reaver at Crassus Landing, and then I get some coffee. While you get that coffee, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell. That's a real caffeine boost for my morale. Alliance and Horde have different ships with different NPCs for the same quest. There's one exception, keeping the Alliance blind and capture more dispatches. Since I'm Horde, I'll be picking up the following quests. Blood of the Chosen, Slaves to Serenite, Retest Now, Drag and Drop, Not a Bug, and Keeping the Alliance Blind. Next, head to Alderthar and pop your Diluted Cult Tonic. You'll want to pump mobs for Retest Now, then kill the Enslaved Minions East and summon a Dark Messenger for Not a Bug. On the way back, make sure to do Drag and Drop. Pick up Assault by Ground and Assault by Air from your faction's Ground Commander and Squad Leader. Then, escort the NPCs for Assault by Ground and kill Verkul for Blood of the Chosen. Jump in the Flying Machine and do Assault by Air by suppressing all the turrets. Then, head to the Serenite Mine and talk to the Miners for Slaves to Serenite. Make sure to kill the rest of the Verkul for Blood of the Chosen nearby. Now I like to grab King of the Mountain from Blast Thunder Bomb or Frazzle Gear Grinder if you're Alliance. Then just jump up the mountain using the 3 ability, plant the battle standard, and turn in the quest. For our final quest in the area keeping the Alliance blind, head northwest and spam the macro on the screen. Next up, fly to the Shadow Vault and pick up the 3 daily quests. There's Leave Our Mark, Shoot Em Up, and Via Like Fire. First, do Leave Our Mark at the Savage Ledge. The duelers do count as Verkul. Then, go and do Shoot Em Up at Jotunheim. Pick a Harpoon, go first person, and spam shots at close range Drake. Finally, do Vile Like Fire by picking a Proto Drake and then setting the buildings on fire. Now head to Death's Rise for three more daily quests. Pick up From Their Corpses Rise, No Fly Zone, and Intelligence Gathering. Just gather up mobs, AoE, loot, and apply Dark Mender's Tincture to bodies to do all three quests at once. The final quest I do every day is the Daily Heroic Quest. This gives me 48 gold, two emblems of valor, and free loot. Okay, so we made over 600 gold absolutely for free. Awesome, right? Well, did I convince you to run dailies every day for gold? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, check out my Fishing for Gold guide. It's perfect to make 350 gold per hour without much effort. 